How are you all doing and this is the storyteller. Today we are going to have an amazing story to share with you all. But as always before we dive and remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more amazing stories like this. Chapter 1, Tanoji Murae's Proposal Then, I'm off, I got out of the car and bowed to Shizun-san and the driver. Hinako was walking about 10 meters in front of me. I kept that distance and headed towards the academy. Good morning, Konohana-san, Ara, Tamanari-san. Good morning, I met up with Hinako at the shoebox area and we greeted each other. In truth, I already greeted Hinako in her room this morning. But this is the first time I greeted her in public. Hinako, playing the role of a perfect Oju-sama, is so affable, yet exudes a highbrow demeanor that makes anyone of the opposite gender agitated. But I preferred the usual and original Hinako, probably because I knew who she really was, every time, it's such a pain, what is? As Hinako revealed her true feelings in a small voice, I asked back in a whisper, while paying attention to the ears around me. In the morning, we go together. Then I have to leave first and meet up with you later, we don't have a choice. It'd be bad if someone found out we live together, it's cramped, but it's still better. Through tea parties and study sessions, it seems that the fact that Hinako and I are friends has already become a well-known fact in the academy. Therefore, compared to the start, I no longer have to keep my distance with Hinako as much as I used to. We can have normal conversations in the classroom, and even if they see us spending time together, we can cover it up. But, I want to go to school together, we're in the same car the entire commute though, right? We just split up at the end, it's not like that, Hinako said, lowering her gaze. I want. The two of us walk outside together, so that's how it is. While I would like to agree, I don't think it's something easy to achieve, unfortunately, I'll talk to Shizun-san the next time I see her. Ah. The two of you, I changed my shoes and was heading to class with Hinako when I ran into my classmate, Asahi-san, on the way. Good morning, Un, morning. You know, I heard the results of the midterm exams are now posted in front of the staff room, so why don't we go see it together? Asahi-san said as she looked at me and Hinako. At Kiyu Academy, the ranks of the students are announced each time the regular examinations are held. However, only the top 50 students are publicly announced, which probably didn't include me. I looked at Hinako and we nodded our heads. I'm okay with that, I would be happy to join you, there was still plenty of time before classes began. I didn't have to be in the classroom just yet, and to be honest, I was interested in the ranking placements, I didn't have anything like this at my old high school. The three of us headed towards the staff room. On our way there, I spotted a familiar boy. Ah, Taisho-kun, ooh. You all came, Taisho noticed us and smiled lightly. Taisho-kun isn't on it anyway, shut up. I want to see what I want even if I'm not listed, Taisho then looked at the rankings posted on the bulletin board. We also turn our eyes to the bulletin board, following him. The first place, the first name we saw, was someone we all knew well. The first place this time is still Konohana-san. As expected from her, Fufu, thank you very much, Hinako smiled with the elegant smile of an Oju-sama. Her beauty attracted the gazes of the students around her. Knowing her true self, I sometimes forget Hinako is a talented person in both studies and sports. Though. It's only her skill that's excellent. Her skills only. Ouch. Suddenly, Hinako stepped on my foot, you were thinking something rude, weren't you? How'd she know? I looked away from Hinako, who was pouting. Compared to before, Hinako seemed to be more expressive. And it's not an act, it's real. I think it's a good thing. I don't know what triggered the change though. The change in Hinako may not be bad at all. As I thought about this, I suddenly moved my gaze to the side and saw a girl with blonde hair in vertical rolls who stood out. The girl held a finger to her chin and made some kind of difficult face. I was curious to see how she was doing, so I called out to her. Tanoji-san? Ara, Tamanari-san is here as well, Tanoji Murei. She's the daughter of the Tanoji group, a conglomerate comparable to the Konohana group. I took one look at the bulletin board she was looking at earlier and opened my mouth. Congratulations on second place, as long as that hateful name is in the first place, I can't rejoice, I thought I was being honest in my praise, but Tanoji-san looked frustrated. Come to think of it, Tanoji-san has been competitive with Hinako ever since they first met. She wouldn't be satisfied when Hinako's name was written above hers. But this time, the results were significant, significant? As I tilted my head, Tanoji-san explained. The gap between me and Konohana-san has narrowed down compared to last time. This doesn't mean Konohana-san's score has dropped. This means that this is undeniably my growth. Fufufu, I finally see a chance to win, Tanoji-san muttered, flames burning inside her eyes. Speaking of which, 
What place did you come in? She asked me so naturally that I didn't think when replying. I wasn't on the list, I'm probably average or a little below average, pardon? Tanoji san asked, emitting a faintly angry tone. What was that? Um, well, I'd say I'm average or slightly below, below average, despite being personally tutored. By me? A blue streak appeared on Tanoji san's forehead. He the problems you taught me had good results, shut it, she snapped. You still lack self awareness. No matter how serious you are, if your goals are low, you will never grow, will you? Yes, that sentence hit home. For my part, I was going to grow little by little while figuring out what I want, but that may have been a little bit too humble of an idea. Bent back, why yes, when she pointed it out, I straightened my back, which had bent for some time. Geez. I've always thought you're the type of person whose emotions tend to show from your attitude, I is that so, I wasn't aware of that. On the other hand, if you felt more confident, that would radiate much more, saying so, Tanoji-san showed a pretense of thinking. What will she say next? I waited nervously. I have a proposal. Why don't you spend some time after school with me for the next couple of days? Tanoji-san said something that was completely different from what I expected. When I replied, Tanoji-san smiled with satisfaction. Then I'll personally teach you some manners. The Tanoji family is a family that places great importance on etiquette. Manners are my specialty, she put her hand on her chest and said, I'll take care of it. Frankly, that'd be very helpful. It's very helpful, but it's not a decision I can make on my own. That being spending time after school with someone else. I really appreciate what you're saying, but. Let me think about it first, when I said this, Tanoji-san looked at me strangely. Why? I thought you were interested? Well, I'm not allowed to make my own schedule due to my position, I see. Sounds like a rough house, if you call it a challenge, it could really be one. After all, it's the Konohana group. Even though I've gotten used to it lately, I feel a little shrugged off at times. I let out a light sigh as I remembered my daily struggles. And realized that Tanoji-san was staring at me silently. Tamanari-san, do you behave the same way when you are at home as you do now? When you say is now, do you mean? What I mean is an attitude that seems somewhat ostentatious without an ounce of confidence, that one felt too close for comfort. But, if I'm hesitant right now, I'm sure I'm the same as when I'm at the mansion. Maybe. I'm also like this at home, when I answered, Tanoji-san sighed. I invited you for one more reason besides your grades. It's about your behavior at the academy, Tanoji-san looked me straight in the eye and continued. I'll ask you straight. Do you feel inferior to those around you? For a moment, I thought my heart had been grabbed by an eagle. It was not to say that it was a shock to hear the truth. It was due to the fact that she saw something even I myself wasn't aware of. I'm the only commoner in the academy. Compared to everyone else, I'm inferior in everything, including my intelligence and family background. Normally, I don't mind it that much, but the fact of it suddenly crossed my mind. I wouldn't normally be allowed to enroll in the academy, and I'm only here because of the power of the Konohana family. It'd be difficult not to feel inferior. I might have an inferiority complex. After all this time, I still think so. Perhaps sensing my stagnant state of mind, Tanoji-san continued. It's not uncommon for students at Kiyu Academy to suffer from this kind of complex. But fortunately, you have ambition. I promise you that under my guidance, you will be able to break free from this complex, thank you. It was such a gratifying proposal that I almost agreed to it right away. I would like to contribute more to Hinako as a caretaker. The more this feeling takes shape, the more challenges appear. It may seem naive, but I have a feeling that if Tanoji-san could teach me how to study and behave in a proper manner, all of these problems would be resolved at once. I must get back to the classroom now. I would appreciate hearing back from you as soon as possible, I understand. I will get back to you tomorrow, I'll talk to Shizun-san about it as soon as I get back. Thank you for calling out to me, Tanoji-san really has an eye for people, doesn't she? Frankly, I didn't expect you to see through me so well, I'm flattered. It's not a big deal, no, I really think it's great. When I told her I was impressed once again, Tanoji-san looked away. It's really not that big of a deal, it's just, I've been there myself, the latter half of the sentence was mostly muttered to herself, so I hardly heard it. However, the only thing that remained strong in my memory was the unusually gloomy expression on Tanoji-san's face for someone who always acted so stout. After school. Back at the Konohana family mansion, I was receiving lessons from Shizun-san as usual. That concludes today's lesson. Thank you for your hard work, thank you for your hard work, preparation, review, etiquette classes, and self-defense. With each one completed, I finally realized the day was over. I used to be so exhausted at this time that I couldn't even speak, 
but now I have a little more time and energy to spare. I guess that means I'm growing both physically and mentally. After this I must head to Hinako's room and take a bath. I wiped my sweat lightly and looked at Shizun-san, who was checking through documents at hand with a difficult face. What are those documents? This is the schedule regarding the lessons for Itsuki-san. You're growing faster than I expected, so I thought I'd readjust it, Shizun-san read the documents with a serious expression on her face, maybe now was the right time. Break time after first period. I asked Tanoji-san a question about her offer. What do you mean by spending time together after school? I will tutor you on studying, Tanoji-san went on to explain her intentions. I participated in the study session you organized a while back. But to tell you the truth, that was the first time I ever taught anyone anything, is that so? Yes. So, I realized for the first time that. It seems the act of teaching others is also good for me, what? Does that mean, exactly? Tanoji-san told me as I wondered. In short, by teaching others how to study, I also improve my own academic abilities. The results of this are shown from the test results. I was able to close the gap against Konohana-san, I see. I understand the story now. So are you saying that Tanoji-san would like to continue doing things like the study session in the future? That's what I mean, I understood the point and nodded. But, why did you choose me? That's because you have the lowest grades of anyone I'm close to, uck, I'm sorry, but I have no defense for that. But, if we do it this way, I will only bother you. I wish there was something I could do to pay you back, it's already great if you can teach me how to study better, no. It's for my own convenience that I'm teaching you. It's not fair that I don't pay something to you as well, she's someone who abides by the law. Rather than my feelings, I guess Tanoji-san herself isn't convinced. Are you not good at anything other than studying? Something I'm not good at, I remember all the mistakes I have made since I became a caretaker. I'm far from perfect in my studies, exercise, work at the mansion, and self-defense, but worst of all. Manners, I guess, Shizun-san. I'd like to discuss a few things with you, with that said, I explained to Shizun-san about what I talked to Tanoji-san about today. It was about studying and learning manners from Tanoji-san after school, I see. To have such a talk with Tanoji-sama, once Shizun-san heard the story, she put down the documents and pondered. Itsuki-san, what do you want to do? I personally would like to take it. Tanoji-san's teaching style is good. And I can count on her for many things, Shizun-san taught me well, but Tanoji-san is a classmate of mine, so she gives me advice from the point of view of a student. Besides, Tanoji-san told me. Do you feel inferior to those around you? I promise you that under my guidance, you will be able to break free from this complex those words resonate strongly in my heart. Tanoji-san is always so imposing and is truly a student worthy of Kiyu Academy. I'm sure I was admiring Tanoji-san, although I've never been aware of it until now. I feel that with Tanoji-san's guidance. I can become more worthy to Hinako, I would be able to accompany Hinako anytime she needs to relax. And when the time comes, I would be able to support her perfectly. In order to be that kind of caretaker, there are still too many things I'm lacking. I hope to fix these problems with Tanoji-san. I see no issues with that, Shizun-san continued to say. Tanoji-sama will be able to teach you manners better than I can. Besides, I have a message from Keigan-sama. He wants Itsuki-san to actively make connections for the Konohana family on behalf of Oju-sama, Keigan-san did? Yes. I hope you're aware of this, in the same way that you invited Miyakojima-sama, Tanoji-sama, and the others to your social gathering. Events like that will help put a good face on Oju-sama, frankly, I was surprised. I had the feeling that he didn't trust me very much. If Keigan-san's attitude towards me changed, it must have been because of the social circle. That night, I felt as if I heard his true feelings for the first time. I understand. If that's the case, I'll try my best, I thank you for your cooperation. But please, keep it within the natural student-like range, as fellow students. As friends. If making connections within that scope, I guess that means I'm free to do it as I go along. Then, it will eventually tie to Hinako, Itsuki? At that moment, the door to the dojo opened, and Hinako's voice was heard. Bath. Not yet? Sorry, I was talking to Shizun-san for a little, talking? I explained to Hinako, who tilted her head. I was going to tell Hinako about it, but do you mind if we don't go home together after school for a while, eh? Hinako's eyes widened in surprise. I was hired by Keigan-san once again, so I wanted to learn a lot of things by getting my act together. I want to improve my grades at the academy and learn some manners so I don't look like a fool in social situations. To do this, I need to use some time after school for a while, are you being taught by someone? What about Shizun? 
Shizun san answered that question for me. I also have other work to do, so sometimes it's difficult to concentrate on Atsuki san's lessons. Especially these days, due to the recent social gathering, my work has increased. So I may not be able to devote time to his lessons for a while, Mao. Then, what about if I teach you? I think it will be tough on Oju sama because she has a lot of things she needs to get done. Besides, it will be good for Atsuki san's growth to change his environment and learn from various places, Mao. If anything, Hinako was displeased. Hinako thought about something for 30 seconds, and eventually, she said something. Itsuki, is it for me? I know it's a little different to say it's for Hinako's sake. But it's to make sure that I do my job as a caretaker properly, I don't want to sound patronizing, but I'm willing to take this on because I want to help Hinako more than ever. Hinako let out a distressed, new uu, and sighed. Then, I have no choice, I forgive you, thanks, Hinako gave me her permission. I will let Tanoji san know tomorrow that I will accept her offer. But, who will teach you study, manners, and so? I answered her question. Tanoji san will, I told Hinako again, who seemed a little surprised. I think I'll be spending some time with Tanoji san after school, in the bathroom in Hinako's room. I watched over Hinako as she soaked in the bathtub and ate an ice cream stick. Insert bath ice cream illustration, uwo oh oh, oh delish tilde. I laughed bitterly as Hinako showed her real personality, unlike at the academy. Will you forgive me with this? No, it's still lacking, I don't think I can do more. It's hard enough to bring ice cream without Shizun san finding out, with a sigh, Hinako dropped her gaze and opened her mouth. I still don't really like it. But I'll forgive this one time, once again, I asked permission to spend time with Tanoji san. Hinako had been opposing the idea ever since we talked about it at the dojo until now but it was the ice cream bribe that was the decisive factor in convincing her. Perhaps, she's happy to have a break after a long time, as she's been busy with the dismissal of her caretaker, social events, and other messes. However, Hinako still seemed dissatisfied. I called out to Hinako, who stared sulkily at the water surface. I can turn this down if Hinako doesn't want me to go, I don't want to get in the way of Itsuki, I see, I wonder if she's concerned about me. Normally, that's my role as a caretaker, but... I'm a little happy. Honestly, I'm a bit relieved, relieved? I thought Hinako has been avoiding me lately, why did you think that? No, I mean, you didn't want me to wake you up in the morning anymore, and besides, you've been distant from me sometimes, haven't you? When I said this, Hinako pouted. It's not like I want to keep my distance, then what's your reason? Mau, with a complicated expression, Hinako muttered quietly, I don't want to say it, I was curious, but if she wasn't going to tell me, I wasn't going to pry either. Speaking of which, Hinako, what? Isn't it hot, dressed like that? Hinako, in front of me, was wearing the school swimsuit designed by the academy. It's an elegant design, typical of Kiyu Academy. However, it was a little too thick to use in the bathroom, not really, you've been wearing a bikini-type swimsuit until now. Why did you suddenly change to a school swimsuit? I just felt like it, Hinako replied with a very difficult answer. I thought inwardly about Hinako, who looked away and had her back turned to me. I wonder if she was still avoiding me? Usually, she would ask to bathe together like this and talk about wanting to spend time together after school as much as possible. But right now, I don't know what Hinako's thinking. I've been spending time with Hinako for more than a month now as her caretaker. I thought I was getting to know her thoughts little by little, but recently, I can't read her intentions anymore. What does this mean? Simon, just wash my hair, yeah, let's think about it later. I put my hand on Hinako's head. Hinako's ears were stained red, as if she was flustered. Mmm, Hinako let out a satisfied sound. Well, at least she wouldn't let someone she didn't like touch her hair, Itsuki, NN. As I was washing Hinako's hair with shampoo, she told me in a small voice. This kind of thing. Don't do it with Tanoji-san, what did she say? I responded with some relief as I sighed. I wouldn't do that, EDN so something is gonna happen do you know how hard I had to work to get used to this? Now I don't think of it much, but when I first became a caretaker, it was difficult. And then? Suddenly, I noticed that Hinako's hair was caught in the shoulder straps of her swimsuit. I'm going to move your shoulder strap just a little, eh? As I shifted and lowered her left shoulder strap, I thought I heard a strange voice. If you have long hair, this kind of thing is difficult, Ayatsuki? I'll be done in a minute. It'll be quick. Suddenly, Hinako jumped up and down and then hurriedly got into the bathtub. Bubbles floated on the surface of the water. At the center of it, Hinako was staring at me with a bright red face. Ma'u, Mew? Humph, insensitive. 
Hinako looked embarrassed and put her hands on both shoulders. Insensitive, it was an odd line from someone who had voluntarily taken off her swimsuit. The next day. During break, I told Tanoji-san that I received permission for her offer, and we immediately decided to start a study session after school. Now then, I'll teach you a thing or two, P please go easy on me, while the other students left school, Tanoji-san and I met up at a cafe next to the cafeteria. Even after all this time, I wondered if I would be able to keep up. Tanoji-san was so full of motivation that I had such concerns. Fufufu. Overthrow. Konohana Hinako. This time, I'm going to make that smile of yours twitch, EDN, you already succeeded, Tanoji-san declared with a devilish smile. Tanoji-san, who had arrived earlier, ordered drinks for me as well, and as soon as I took my seat, a cup of tea was served to me. First, let's set a goal. My goal is to defeat Konohana Hinako in the next exam, Tanoji-san said, tipping her cup gracefully. When is the next exam? A month from now, in the first place, it looked like Tanoji-san's and Hinako's scores were very close. After a month of intense study, there's a good chance Tanoji-san could win. Tamanari-san, you will score in the top 50 in that exam, eh? I was surprised by her sudden statement. In the top 50? I'm a little below average right now. That's a bit, no need to worry. I'm here to teach you how, I gave Tanoji-san, who was puffing out her chest with confidence, a complicated look. The more I complain, the more trouble I'm putting myself in. So I'll make an effort to believe in her here. And, Tamanari-san said you wanted to be taught more about etiquette. Is there a reason for that? I answered Tanoji-san's question carefully. When I attended the Konohana family social gathering, I felt that I still wasn't good enough to act natural in such situations. At the very least, I'd like to learn etiquette in a way that doesn't embarrass myself, that's a good objective, Tanoji-san nodded in satisfaction. Then I'll teach Tamanari-san some social etiquette. I should be able to teach you table etiquette, speaking skills, and dancing as well, d-dancing? What dances can you do, Tamanari-san? Even if I wanted to answer. If I had to say one, something I practiced during the sports festival, maybe Saran Bushi? Pardon? I'm sorry. I can't dance at all, I can't dance Saran Bushi in a social gathering. No, on the contrary, it might attract attention, but I would lose my status in exchange for laughter. Then I'll teach you the basics of dancing as well, Tanoji-san said, muttering. We have the general plan in place. Let's get started by studying first. We'll study until 6 p.m., and then we'll move on to etiquette, yes, I'm looking forward to working with you, 6 p.m. today's studying ended without a hitch. I solved the last question from the textbook and now Tanoji-san was checking my answers, I see, after looking over my answers, Tanoji-san muttered. It seems that you study hard even on a regular basis. At this rate, I'm sure your grades will get better than before, thank you very much, Shizun-san's lessons were also helpful, but Tanoji-san is also a student, so she can give me tips on how to get higher grades. I should probably acquire a wide range of knowledge and skills for the future, but what I need now is a grade that wouldn't be inconvenient for me to be around Hinako. How about you, Tanoji-san? Do you think this is helpful to you? Yes. It was better than I thought it'd be. Maybe I have a talent for teaching people things, Tanoji-san said surprising even herself. Being just the two of us, both Tanoji-san and I were able to concentrate in today's study session. But the reason I was able to concentrate on my studies was probably because Tanoji-san taught me so earnestly. Why is Tanoji-san being so competitive with Konohana-san? Suddenly, I asked something that had bothered me. There's no deep reason for it, Tanoji-san gazed down a little, then looked me in the eyes and answered. I would like to point out that there is no such relationship between myself and Konohana-san, if I had a reason, it is because I'm the daughter of the Tanoji family and cannot afford to fall behind other students, that is. Is that like a family motto? No. It's a rule I set for myself, why did she impose such harsh rules on herself? To my question, Tanoji-san continued. The academy is a microcosm of society, so to speak. If you lose here, you will surely lose in the future, I believe that the Tanoji group is the best corporate group in Japan. As such, defeat is against my belief, I thought her declaration was a proud ideal. If someone had said this at my old high school, I would have thought they're joking. But this academy is a special environment. Tanoji-san's statement had a sense of reality. And above all, because it was said by Tanoji-san, who acted with sincerity on a daily basis, it demonstrated her real intent to do so. But, on the other hand, born and raised as a commoner, I couldn't help but ask a question, have you ever thought of it as a struggle? Not at all, Tanoji-san responded immediately. As the daughter of the Tanoji family, I will contribute to the Tanoji family. 
That is my mission. And the happiness that I desire, the way she asserted this with confidence was very typical of Tanoji san I reflected on the unnecessary question I had asked. Now, on to etiquette, putting away the textbooks, Tanoji san prepared for the next lesson. Tanoji san I have one favor to ask you. First, can I ask you to focus on table etiquette? That's fine, but do you have a reason for doing so? Yes. Well, personal reasons, I wasn't confident I could explain it well, so I apologized and drank my tea. Tanoji san may have guessed what it was, but decided not to pry. If so, Tamanari san Why don't you have dinner with me for a while? Dinner, was it? Yes. That way, we'll be able to teach table etiquette in a practical way. Fortunately, this academy provides a variety of cuisines from different countries, so we'll be able to cover the full range of this topic, I see. So we're going to continue to study table etiquette while having dinner at the academy. It's an efficient proposal that I would like to accept, but let's consult with Shizun san to be sure. I'll talk about it with my house. With that said, I excused myself and took out my phone in the back of the school building. What's wrong, Itsuki sama? Shizun san called me by sama. I guess they're pretending to be servants under me in case someone is listening to the call on the side. Tanoji san suggested that I have dinner at the academy for a while starting today. Is that okay? Seems like she's going to teach me table etiquette, I understand. There's no problem, but. Shizun san stopped mid sentence. Excuse me. Oju sama would like to talk, so please wait a moment, Hinako? I wonder if she has something to say. Itsuki? Yeah? What's wrong? Will you be late today? Hinako asked in a slightly disappointed voice. I think I will for today, or at least for a while, in reply, Hinako was silent for a few seconds. Quickly. Come back, okay? With that, Hinako returned the phone to Shizun san. That's why I'd appreciate it if you could come back as soon as possible, I understand, I thought about what time to ask Shizun san to pick me up, consulting with her. I shouldn't forget my real job. I'm Hinako's caretaker. I'm in the position of being taught by Tanoji san, but I'll be there for Hinako as much as possible so that I don't end up in the same situation as before. Sorry to keep you waiting, when I return to the cafe, Tanoji san had begun preparing for the next lesson. She must have asked the waiter at the cafe because a variety of tableware was laid out. This is, once again, the real deal, I'm just trying to motivate you, Tanoji san said proudly, her chest puffing with pride. It's a little late for this, but is that okay? I'm the one benefiting from all this, I thought we were over that already. I'm having a good time in my own way, so don't worry about it, having said that, Tanoji san continued in a small voice. And, you're so much like me in the past that I wanted to help a little, I tilted my head at her words. What do you mean? Now then, let's begin the lesson, as if to shrug it off, Tanoji san began the lesson, I see. 8 p.m. after Tanoji san's class was over, I drove back to the Konohana family mansion in the car provided. I'm back, good work, Itsuki san, upon entering the mansion, I immediately met Shizun san. I think I'll be arriving at the mansion at this time for a while, I understand. May I ask what you learned, to be sure? Yes, as I walked to my room, I explained what Tanoji san taught me. It's like that, I see, I should thank Tanoji sama again next time. From what I've heard, she's been teaching quite seriously, that's right, that was something I realized as well. Tanoji san said she was having a good time as well, but if viewed from the outside, no matter how I look at it, I'm unilaterally benefiting from it. I will have to thank her once again. But why did you make learning table etiquette a priority? Ah. About that, it's a little embarrassing, but I would be happy to tell Shizun san. I explained my intentions. Is that what you meant? Shizun san nodded in agreement. I'm glad to see that you haven't forgotten your role as caretaker, well. That was the reason why I'm learning so much from Tanoji san. When I said this, Shizun san smiled with satisfaction. Then, Oju sama wants to see Itsuki san, so please head over as soon as possible, eh? Are there no self defense lessons? Once the dance lessons start, you will be physically exhausted. With future plans in mind, let's temporarily lower the priority on self-defense. After discussing with Tanoji san, the dance lessons were scheduled to begin roughly a week from now. Since we couldn't have dance lessons in a quirky cafe, we needed to arrange a venue first. Since we haven't made those arrangements, we didn't have any today. Besides, the dojo is often occupied these days, used? When I asked her back, Shizun san gave me a complicated look. When you beat up the Konohana family guards before, it seems that their pride was severely hurt, since then, more and more of them have been training at the dojo, somehow, I'm sorry, it wasn't Itsuki-san's fault. Rather, 
It was a good medicine for them, Shizun san said with a sigh. If Itsuki san intends to become a bodyguard for the Konohana family in the future, I would start self defense lessons right now, but. Do you want that? I have no such plans at the moment, so I'll pass, is that so? That's a shame, is it really a shame? Shizun san is a person who I have a hard time understanding when she is joking and being serious, but I thought it sounded more genuine than it seemed. Is that, okay? Is such a life plan possible? After I bathed Hinako, I went back to my room to prepare for tomorrow. As expected, my head seems tired from all the things today, I placed my pen on the notebook and stretched lightly. The time is now 11 pm today's been mostly filled with studying, no, it's times like these where I must push through, I grabbed my pen again and flipped the pages of my notebook. Tanoji san just praised me for my study routine. Let's keep our heads up and do our best. I sometimes think that I've become a very hard worker, everyone I met at Kiyu Academy is of a high level. Seeing them, I had made it a habit to study every day. At first, I just studied as Shizun san told me, but now I do it on my own accord. Shizun san may have noticed this, and recently, she no longer tells me to, study in advance, or, review every day. I've never made such a serious effort before. Previously I felt like I was just going to high school for nothing, not for anyone, not even for me. Those guys. I wonder what they're up to, I remember the relationships I had before I became a caretaker. I felt as though I would like to meet and talk again once things calm down. At that moment, a knock came at my door. It's open, the door opened, and it revealed Hinako behind it. Hey. Hinako? NN, I was astonished by Hinako who made a small voice. You came here all by yourself? You didn't get lost? Moo. Rude. This is still my house, no, no, you can't say that. Never forget. This girl, even in the academy, will get lost if left alone. Itsuki's room, farther than I thought, it took me about 30 minutes from my room, it's not that far, are you exploring a dungeon? What are you doing? It's preparation for tomorrow's exam. Tanoji-san has been teaching me a lot of things, but that's just basic preparation for it. I have to do my best to keep up with the class, having finished the material at the end of the page, I turn around and look at Hinako. What are you doing? Nothing? Then why did you come here? When I asked her this, Hinako pouted a little, can I not come here unless I have something to do? No, not really but, it's not that she can't, it's just hard to deal with. Since she didn't seem to have anything to do, I kept on studying with Hinako in mind. Mu, as I silently did my questions, Hinako made a dissatisfied noise. Then she slipped and rolled into my bed, I'm going to sleep here today, eh? I'm sleeping here, she told me in a slightly stronger tone. The dining room is a long way from my room, so you'll have trouble tomorrow morning. If you want to sleep, it's better to go back to your room, no tilde, she was already almost asleep. I chuckled at Hinako's fluttering eyes. Itsuki, NN? Come here, yes yes, I stopped my studying and headed towards Hinako, Pat, Hinako said, squinting sleepily. When we were at the party, you didn't like it when I patted your head. Is it fine now? I didn't mean to do that, Hinako rolled over and turned her back to me. I, have been acting weird lately, weird. Are you feeling sick? Ma'u, when I called out to her in concern, she instead puffed her cheeks, that meant she was still okay. When I slowly stroked her head, Hinako's body jerked, but then quickly calmed down and accepted it. This was something I hadn't seen till recently. I was told she didn't hate it, but I'm still worried, I'm getting sleepy too, I sat down on the floor and muttered to myself as I stroked Hinako's head, sleep now? No, I have to carry Hinako to her room first, and while saying something like that, I started to feel really sleepy. I've been using my head all day, so my brain must be tired. Before I knew it, I was fast asleep and, Itsuki? The hand patting Hinako's head stopped and she quietly brought herself up. Itsuki was sleeping quietly on the side of his bed. Hinako got up as quietly as she could and observed the situation. I think this is the first time I've seen his sleeping face, due to the fatigue from her daily acting, Hinako sleeps whenever she gets the chance. Therefore, while others may have seen her sleeping face, she rarely has the time to do the same. Were you tired? Thinking back, Itsuki looked sleepier than usual at his desk today. She knew how it feels to want to sleep when you're tired and so, Hinako decided to leave Itsuki asleep like that. She then looked at the study materials open on his desk. Hinako glanced at the notebook filled with mathematical formulas, and suddenly saw something. This. Is the caretaker's manual? She picked up the thick book and flipped through the pages. Originally, there was no such thing as a manual for them. However, because of the rapid change of staff, 
It took a lot of time and effort to verbally explain the work, and this is how the manual originated. The manual had sticky notes and highlights on the areas that were important. Looking at the page with a lot of sticky notes, there were several brands of Hinako's favorite ice cream. Next to them were written, buy it when you can, and keep it in the freezer in your room, boldly. She felt an ache in her heart. The pain subsided right as someone entered the room, Oju-sama? Shizun stepped towards her with a curious look on her face. The door was open, and I was curious as to why, Sh Hinako raised her index finger in front of her lips and looked at the sleeping Itsuki. Shizun then realized the situation. Goodness. You're not fit to be a caretaker if you sleep before Oju-sama, although Shizun said that, her expression wasn't angry. Perhaps Shizun also recognized Itsuki's recent efforts. Basically, Itsuki is serious. Even if Shizun doesn't say anything, he will naturally reflect on it when he wakes up. Oju-sama. If you'd like, I can show you to your room, NN, Hinako nodded and left the room with Shizun. Shizun, yes? I, changed, Hinako said, as if muttering. I'm happy that Itsuki is taking care of me, but. I sometimes feel bad when I think that he's taking care of me, feel bad, is it? Not long ago, she would have suspected that something was wrong with Itsuki, but not anymore. They've been working together for more than a month and Shizun knew very well that Itsuki was a sincere person. Are you dissatisfied with Itsuki-san being your caretaker? That's not it, Hinako shook her head. However, her expression was uneasy. Reaching the front of Hinako's room, Shizun opened the door. Hinako slowly entered. It's not it, but. It feels lacking, saying this, Hinako sank her body into her bed. Placing her arms over her eyelids, Hinako vented out her worries. Is it because of his job that? Itsuki listens to me? Hearing those words, Shizun finally understood the true feelings of Hinako's anxiety. She can't help but smile, but tried to hold back on making any expressions. Rest assured, in a gentle tone of voice, Shizun said. Itsuki-san doesn't listen to you just because of his job, Oju-sama, really? Yes. If you just wait a little longer, I think you'll be able to see that. Originally, Itsuki took on this job simply because he had no money. But if it was simply about money, he wouldn't have wanted to protest against Kagon and become a caretaker again. Whatever the past was, the current Itsuki is different. Now, Itsuki is a caretaker who feels a greater obligation towards Hinako than his job. Hinako doesn't realize that. That's something that's easy to figure out when you spend time thinking about it. However, this is the first time, isn't it? I can't believe Oju-sama is asking me for personal advice like this, is that true? Yes, NN? Hinako recalls her past while tilting her head. Shizun smiled when she saw this. A feeling akin to watching her daughter grow up came over her, I shouldn't do that, she doesn't intend to be a mother yet. After putting the bed sheet over Hinako, who slept before she knew it, Shizun left the room. A week has passed since I started studying with Tanoji-san. Good morning, I walked to the classroom and said my greeting. The students nearby returned my greeting with good-natured smiles. Feeling a little moved, I took my seat. Recently. I felt that I was able to adapt to the atmosphere of the academy. I'm starting to get used to it, but I think it really began when Tanoji-san was teaching me. The more I know about etiquette, the more I see the students value them. My desire to respond to them seemed to be linked with my own goals. You. Tamanari, good morning, Tamanari-kun, Taisho and Asahi-san approached me. I've been wondering, Tamanari. Lately, have you been doing something with Tanoji-san? Taisho asked suddenly. Fufufu tilde. There's been a lot of rumors recently. After school, they would meet up and do something, Asahi-san also said as if it was interesting. I felt that they were taking things in the wrong direction, so I decided to explain. Actually, I've been taking etiquette lessons from Tanoji-san recently, etiquette? I nodded to Asahi-san's question. It's like an extension of the study session from before, what, I thought it was just Tamanari trying to get the upper hand, unfortunately not, I said flatly to Asahi-san who was making wild assumptions. Oh, speak of the devil, Taisho said and looked at the classroom door. When I looked in that direction, I saw Tanoji-san. Tanoji-san was beckoning for me to come to her, or rather, focused her gaze on me. I wondered if something happened, and I headed over to Tanoji-san. Tanoji-san, good morning. Is something wrong? Good morning. Actually, I have something to talk about, something? I forgot about it, but the cafe we usually use to study has regular day offs. That's today, ah. Is that so, usually, after school, we use the cafe next to the cafeteria. Since that cafe has various menus of food, we also use it for table etiquette lessons. 
Then we'll have the study session somewhere else today. And we'll take a break from etiquette, I've thought about it, and I have a suggestion, Tanoji-san said. Why don't you come over to my house? Pardon? I tilted my head at her sudden proposal. The biggest hurdle to learning etiquette are habits. No matter how nervous you are at first, when you get used to the environment, you'll calm down eventually, but that's the result of environmental adaptation, not because of etiquette lessons, that's. I guess that's true, yes. That's why I thought it'd be better to regularly change the places to prevent Tominari San from getting used to the environment. It's a good opportunity, so why not do it at my house? Tanoji San gave a detailed explanation. To that proposal, I, dash, and that's how it is, what do you think? Lunch break. As usual, I joined Hinako at the old school building and told her about the proposal Tanoji San gave me. I was told I'm free to do anything regarding the relationships I make in the academy, but I'm still Hinako's caretaker. And so, I thought it'd be great to hear Hinako's opinion first, Ma'u, Hinako? Ma'yamuamamu. Unusually, Hinako was thinking hard. Honestly, I don't think you need to think that much. Hinako crossed her arms and had a difficult look on her face, Itsuki, NN? Are you staying overnight? For some reason, Hinako asked without making eye contact. No, it's just a day trip. Then, it's fine, despite saying that, she still had a difficult expression. Itsuki, is studying with Tanoji san fun? Well, Tanoji san isn't the type who goes easy even on acquaintances, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Hmm, it's rare to find someone who can be strict even with acquaintances. Normally, when dealing with them, the feeling of I don't want to be disliked comes out at the top, but that's not the case with Tanoji san Perhaps it's because she has absolute confidence in herself that she's able to focus on how she acts rather than what others think of her. I honestly admire that kind of dignified behavior, even ignoring my current position. As I was thinking of this, Hinako tugged the hem of my uniform, my caretaker, eh? Itsuki. Is my caretaker, she stared right at me making the distance between us zero. Her neat face was spread out before her nose, which surprised me a little. For some reason, Hinako smelled good, even though we live in the same mansion, I know, I exhaled slowly to calm down my nerves. Then I slowly looked at the bento in my hand. I know, so. Stop sneaking vegetables into my bento. I've been found out.
out, she's one shrewd master. 